I think the reason why I would say that painting and decorating should be valued as a profession, it, it most definitely is a, uh, the, the thing that people see first of all when you walk into a home or an environment, you see the decorating. You obviously understand that you need to do all the other professions to make the home, the building safe, sound and built structurally right. But what do you actually see is the finish and that last trade that goes in can make or break the environment. It can change the scope of an entire project with colour, finish, style and uh, it takes a real skill, it's, a, it's an art form in itself. Uh, quality as a decorator I find needs to be you know, really good at their job is they need integrity, they need honesty, they need to be well, effectively a steady hand as well is always helpful. It's somebody who appreciates the attention to detail and I'd also say making sure that they do the right preparation because the work that they build into the preparation gives you a fantastic end finish that lasts for years. I think the painting and decorating industry at the moment is facing many challenges. I would say that probably the, the most significant of those is the skill shortage in the industry. We need to encourage younger people to join the industry but we also need to upskill the people that are working in the, in the industry at the moment and part of that is looking out and, and, and obtaining the correct training and to start using good quality tools to, to carry out the, the tasks that are needed. Good quality brushes and rollers are a definite must for investment. You get better finishes, the better quality brushes you get, the better rollers you get, you get a lot better finishes um, and definitely worth investing in. There's no point in buying the ones that you wash up, you know, throw away afterwards because you're just not going to get the finish that you want. The use of quality tools is so important in paint, painting and decorating trade because each product has a different use. So different tools have different application methods for different problems. And having tools that can deal with all sorts of problems throughout the job will save the decorator time, money and effort. But generally speaking, Purdy stands, stands out for that quality. And why is quality important? Well, obviously, you know, it, it does what it says, but the reality is it makes the job a little bit quicker. The, the tools actually last you longer. There is an equation, spending a little bit more, you'll get an awful lot more about the long-term benefit of the, the uh, applicators and tools. Uh, we can always go for the cheaper option. This disposable world that we've come from, uh, I think people are a bit more conscious about that, so we'd rather spend a little bit more, get a quality that they'll look after, and it'll look after you. As far as we, uh, we, we feel and the way that it's, it's panning out, that our profession still enjoys and uh, appreciates the opportunity to come to merchants that specialise in painting and decorating for the choice, the tactile picking up and trying different things, comparing them, which isn't easy on the click, click and collect world. I think the best advice I could give to anybody coming into the trade now, as an apprentice, as a, as a young person coming into the trade, is concentrate on, on the skills. Get the skills right, build your, build your tools up so as you've got really good quality tools in the, in the toolbox that you can use. Don't worry about the speed, the speed will naturally come. Make sure you can do the job right first. Work with good quality decorators and learn from them, watch, watch what they do and that will set you up for life. The decorator you're working with is there to help you. You might end up doing the job where you might have to clean the brushes out at the end or you might get the, the horrible job of cutting in the woodwork, you know, but you stick at it and you can literally become a professional decorator in no time and you can get yourself a good job you know, with the company that you're working with, that you've got your apprenticeship with, you use the right tools as well, you'll be laughing. <laughs>